Hey everyone, so I have a new dehumidifier to share with you today. So I've been using this out in the garage for a few days to get an idea how well it works. And this is about how much water I get out of it each day. Uh, being in the garage, I do live in a very, very humid area. And this little guy is not able to keep up with the garage. If I was to show you my weather station here, you'll see that humidity right outside this garage door is at 89% right now. And it usually runs close to 90% around here. Here in the garage, we have reduced it down to 75% according to this. Now I did use this in the house and I used it in the bathroom and the bathroom actually drew out water quicker. Now personally, I think this would be okay for a smaller space, a much larger space. It's not gonna be able to keep up quite as much. You're gonna need a larger unit but this would be perfect for like bathrooms, small bedrooms. I do have it in the garage, but the garage is actually a little quite big for it as well. Maybe if there was two of them in here. I'll give you a close up of the machine itself. Now this reservoir here, this reservoir here, you can pull this out and then you can empty out that water. You could always use this water to water your plants that way you don't waste it. And you'll see when it's out, that light will flash. Also this LED light, you can change the colors. There's a little button here on the middle and if you press it, you'll be able to change different colors. So we got purple, we got blue, a lighter teal, a green. There's also one of these modes, it will let it change and alternate it on its own. And that's usually what I've been kind of running it on. But I think the teal is really nice. Also, if you want all the light out and everything, you can hit the sleep. It will also lower the motor so it's quieter and it'll turn out the light. Now keep in mind, if you do that, it's not gonna pull out as much moisture either. I did that the first night and then realized I didn't pull out nearly as much and I had to kind of start it over again. Uh, so do keep that in mind if you do use the sleep function. There is also a filter that you'll be able to open up and you can clean this out. It's pretty easy to clean, just wash it. And this is where the air comes in. Also, this does have a little carry handle. Now, one other place that I have thought about using this would be on my desk, help keep the moisture away from the electronics a bit. So that's also a good idea. And I thought about using it in the trailer, which is probably where I'm gonna put it next to try. But if you are looking for a smaller humidifier for a smaller space, hopefully this would give you a good idea what to expect with this one. And if it's one that you're wanting to get. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.